Skolomance, a school devoted to the study of necromancy and led by the Cult of the Damned. Fanatical worshippers, faithful to the Lich King and his Scourge army. Dark places such as this are scorched among the many lands of the Eastern Kingdoms, but this dark dungeon is filled with harrowing tales and unique stories pertaining to Warcraft lore. The unfortunate truth is dark places such as this always begin with good intentions. Skolomance was once a lovely mansion called Ser Darrow, owned by the Barov family. Alright, big smile everyone! The family included Lord Alexi, Lady Elusia, Jandis, Alexi Jr., and Weldon. This family was stupidly rich, owning South Shore, Tarn Mill, and Brill back when they were human settlements. But alas, money cannot satisfy their greed any longer. you are interested in immortality? The Barovs wanted to enjoy their wealth for all eternity, and Kel'Thuzad, a necromancer and leader of the Cult of the Damned, was quick to offer them that luxury in exchange for Ser Darrow for his own personal use. It didn't take long for the once royal home of the Barovs to turn into an evil dungeon used to practice the dark arts of necromancy. This transition does not have much documentation in the lore, and the only way we can truly see what this conversion was like is from the first-hand experience of Ava and Lucen Sarkov, the head butlers of the Barov's estate. Ava and Lucen talked about how the house grew more and more unclean as dark inhabitants started to stalk the halls. They could hear the screams of the fellow servants as they were tortured against their will. Ava and Lucen sectioned themselves off into one of the rooms and barely clung to survival. After six months, they were finally caught. Okay, so this part is extremely violent and just not family appropriate, so the least I could do was replace the visuals of the story. The two were stripped down naked and thrown Oof. on a circle of blood that kept them locked there with powerful magic. After days of imprisonment, Dr. Theoen Krasnikov, also called the Butcher, made his appearance. Lick my balls! The Mad Doctor used the dark arts of necromancy to stop them from enjoying the sweet release of death. And the two servants were used to test the new alterations of the plague. Stinky! Eventually, the Doctor threw the two servants that were drained of life to his ghouls, letting them feast on their flesh as he laughed maniacally. Tickle time! <laughs> oh, stop it! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, uh, Skolomance, not really a nice place. But hey, at the end of the day, the Barovs got what they wanted. Kind of. Lord Alexi and Lady Lucia were turned into ghostly agents of the Scourge and must be put to rest. Same goes for Jandis, who uses her disorienting illusion magic in combat and is the steward for the innocent blood the Butcher harvests. Totally unrelated, but in Mists of Pandaria, they revamped this dungeon and they gave Jandis a Russian accent for some reason. Oh, it takes some real stones to challenge the Mistress of Illusion. Well, show me what you've got. <laughs> Alexei and Weldon Barov have much more different stories compared to their relatives. Weldon quickly escaped the estate when things were going clearly wrong and Alexei was turned into an undead, like his family, and left to go join the Forsaken instead. Both of these brothers were overwhelmed by greed and made it their life's mission to retrieve the deeds their families owned and have all of the wealth to themselves. Alliance get a quest from Weldon and the Horde get a quest from Alexei to go in the Skullmans and collect these deeds. When the player returns, they tell them to assassinate their brother so they can have all of the wealth to themselves. After completing the quest chain, you get a trinket called the Barov Peasant Collar that can be used to summon your own gaggle of ghostly servants. Lore-wise, we don't really know if they actually die because both brothers can be found in Warlords of Draenor, so uh, the whole killing your brother thing must have just been them playing pretend. 
But I digress, let's get back to Skolomance. This place is a school, so we need to talk about the faculty that teach within it. Before we start, I'd just like to say that some bosses here don't have any lore whatsoever. For example, Rattlegore. This big, badass amalgamation of bones is just some monster guy in a basement. There's not really any official lore about him, but that's not to say that there aren't any bosses with an interesting history. Marduk Blackpool was a ferocious soldier of the Scourge. He led the campaign to destroy the human settlement of Darrowshire, cutting through humans by the dozens with his rune-laden sword. During the battle, he corrupted the spirit of Joseph Redpath to assist in the eradication of the inhabitants within Darrowshire. Later in Marduk's undead life, he lost his corrupted sword in a skirmish near Corrin's Crossing, and the evil blade sunk into the ground, corroding into the land and creating the infectious scar we know today. At some point, Marduk became a tutorer in Skolomance. Hey, you! Stop running! And you! Get down! Get down from there! Get, start studying now! Vectus! You gotta do something about this! Now please, students, calm down and get back in your seats. With his colleague Vectus, they researched the corruption of dragon eggs to make a breakthrough in creating a plagued dragonflight. These dragon eggs were smuggled in from Blackrock Spire by a goblin called Tinky Steamboil, and if the Scourge and Skullmance weren't evil enough for you, the corrupted dragons only tolerate eating the flesh of tortured and terrified prisoners. Kurtonos the Herald is a vampire that looms over Skolomance. He is the master to Dr. Theolin Krastinov, who appeases him by offering innocent blood to feast on. As time passed, more and more of the innocent civilians within Skolomance perished, meaning Kurtonos was a rare sight among the school because of the lack of blood. But adventurers who are brave enough to summon the Herald may be able to put his evil to rest. Pretty spooky story, right kids? Master Genling, you must not dally around telling these children spooky ghost stories and teach them how to reanimate a corpse at once. <sighs> yes, sir. Dark Master Ganling and Ras Frost Whisper are the headmasters of Skolomance, and Ganling really has no lore about him except that he's a student of Ras Frost Whisper. And Frost Whisper himself has quite the interesting backstory. He was once a mage of Stromgard and was one of the first people to join the Cult of the Damned and quickly advance through its ranks. He turned his life over to the Lich King for the promise of immortality. Leonid Bartholomew, a member of the Argent Crusade, watched as Ras Frost Whisper underwent a horrible ritual to become a Lich. In the slaughterhouse of Stratholm, Ras kneeled on Menethil's gift, a pentagram-like shape blessed by the Lich King himself. The mage took a dagger to his throat, cutting from one side to the other to appease the Prince of Darkness and the Lich King raised Rass as a Lich and commanded him to do his bidding. <sighs> Almost all Liches in WoW and fantasy in general have a thing called Flactory, which is basically a vase that their spirit is bound to. If they die, their spirit goes into the vase and then they eventually re-emerge again. The only way a Lich can be slain for good is by destroying the Flactory. Think of them kind of like an evil genie. But Ras is the exception to this rule, as the only way to bring him back to his immortal form is by using an item called a Keepsake of Remembrance, a personal item from when Ras was living. Using this item converts Ras to his ghostly human form where he can be slayed for good, silencing the evil within Skolomance once and for all. Now before I leave you, 
I have one more story to tell. What if I told you, Skolomance is real? Okay, well, uh, not really. Skolomance is a place in Dracula folklore located near Transylvania where the devil himself teaches people how to ride dragons and control the goddamn weather. Okay, um, that's it. I just thought that was cool and I wanted to share it with you guys. Okay, now the video is over.